hello guys hello everybody today i want to show you and i want you guys to learn how to check the cpu performance and how to monitor now there are some widgets of windows 7 that now are available to windows 8 8.1 and such so here they are this here you can monitor them and how your cpu is performing you can hook up another uh, a screen to your computer just to put these little widgets in there I, I, I'm telling you it's convenience but this is not the topic of this video the topic is I want you guys to know and how to check and how to stress the performance of your CPU um, when I was fighting microstarter I came across with all these little programs and everything and the best one was ADA64 Extreme. Now I purchased the license. The license is like $39 after your 30 day, uh, after your 30 days trial. And uh, this here, guys, is so convenient. Now another little tip that I'm going to give you before we go into the video, it's that uh, you can customize your desktop. Look at that. My desktop is clean, like clean. There's nothing in here. It, that right there is so great for me. Now I, I set up the taskbar for um, auto hide. You can go right here to properties, like right click it. You can hit auto hide. You can copy my, my my settings if you want to. I don't care. I mean, you know your settings. But anyways, so let's go into ADA64. Okay. Yes, allow this program to make changes on my computer. This program here, guys, it's the best program. You can check your motherboard, like you can check anything in your motherboard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right here, I got the Intel as well. Whatever, whatever. I got the 5820K. This computer, guys, it's um, the X uh, X99. I combined the motherboard with Snow White and everything. So I'm going to do a video review of my computer very soon. So what you want to do is go ahead and go to Tools, okay? Like click back whatever go back to the main screen whatever go on tools okay and right here you're going to select ADA64 CPU ID so click it and it's gonna come to your screen okay now right here it tells you everything about your CPU okay so here is my CPU right here guys okay and here's my motherboard this is my bios version i have to update it okay you have to update that too and i've shown you guys there's a video uh i have a video where i show you how to update your um your bias so anyway guys let's go back to tools right here okay and go to system stability test now i have done this stability test many many times okay this right here checks your temperatures checks your like the throttling like if, if you if, if you're having any tra uh, throttling with your computer which mine is zero so the cpu usage so you know what guys let's go ahead and start this um test and let's check for the performance three two one i'll be right back Alright guys, well I am back here, it was only a few seconds for you, but few, uh, about an hour for me. You can see right here, it's 11.23 uh, or something like that. It passed the one hour, okay? I started the, the test at 10.19 am, right now it's past 10, 11.19, it's 11.20 something. So guys, here it is, here are the results. You can see right here, I got zero throttling, the time here it got crazy, I don't know why. But see, it shows right here that I've been doing this for thousands of hours. <laughs> but anyway, guys, you guys can see right here I am a 4.1 stacks a megahertz. 
uh, from 3.3 I over overclocked the CPU to 4.8 megahertz uh, my core voltage 120 uh, 1.2 or 124 however the multiplier 40 times okay guys so this is the result this is how you want to and this is how you need to stress your CPU to make sure that the CPU runs perfectly fine my my temperatures don't go above 70 I reached 71 because it got hot on my room I turned off the air conditioning but anyway so 70 70 is my my top temperature uh, you can see right here it is worth it give it a try this is one thing that you should do when you are trying to find micro starter, when you're trying to find uh, frame drops and random random shit. So this is what you need to do guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the aspects of my computer real quick. Okay. I'm going to show you very quick system properties. Um, you can see right here Windows 8.1. I got the i7-5820K from 3.3. Like I said, I overclocked it to uh, 4.1. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, the system, 64-bit uh, processor and everything. I mean operating system. So it, it's Snow White, like I said. Let's check my graphics, okay? And as you can see, guys, the programs respond perfectly fine, having the CPU performing at its maximum. I mean, if you don't have a good cooling system, I got the H100i. I recommend you not to do this here, or if you want to do it. <laughs> you're gonna start having throttling because air cooling on the 5820k is not recommended even on the 4790k I do not recommend it I'm also going to run 3d mark in a few minutes but I want you guys to to um, to know check this out guys how fast the programs open up having the CPU at its maximum I mean it's incredibly crazy guys having the CPU at its maximum here it is. Now here we are. I want to show you guys my rig. Okay, these are my games. I really don't have too many games. There are some games I still haven't downloaded from Steam and Origin because I don't think that they need to be here. Honestly, I don't like those games. <laughs> but I finished some of them, like Sniper, Sniper Ghost Warrior. I finished it. Look at that. I got GTX 980, two 980s. I got my Intel i7 DDR4. Um, you can see right here guys 1920 by 1080 144 Hertz you guys can say well creeper you're using 1080p SLI trust me running this computer and running all my games at 144 frames per second with v-sync on it's freaking incredible now sometimes I turn off the v-sync and, and um, I mean the, the frames they go up to 200 frames per second it's freaking incredible I don't think I mean, I'm not gonna say anything else so call it overkill yes it is an overkill for 1080p but I love it so much so anyway guys this here was um, this here was the how to check your CPU how to stress it go ahead and download ADA 64 extreme don't forget to go to tools pull the ID of the CPU ID like pull it out so you can like test it and check it okay guys I'm gonna start I'm, I mean I'm gonna stop it now so rewatch this video if, if you have to but the main base is get ADA 64 extreme go to tools pull the ID which is this one here go to tools again and go to system stability test boom let's go to tools now and let's open monitor diagnostics you can see right here doing the screen uh, I mean this these guys it's a very good very very good program to test your computer at its maximum to, to find so many problems there's so many options in here I recommend you to buy the license don't try to crack it I'll see you guys next time bye 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 angry gamer studios presented <laughs>